Well, how much money is worth killing 212,000 Americans in a single year? And this is just this uh, remarkable uh, study. Uh, yesterday, I, we played a clip on this program of uh, Bernie Sanders and Lindsey Graham having a debate, and Bernie pointed out, he said, quote, in the United States, Lindsey, we spend twice as much per capita on health care compared to the people of any other country. While well, major countries like Canada, the UK, and Germany manage to supply health care to all their people. Why is that? Well, it turns out that there's a very simple reason for why the United States is the only developed country in the world that pours twice as much money every year into health care, over a trillion dollars more than anybody else, or you know, and 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 gets actually worse outcome for it. Why the United States is the only developed country in the world where a half a million people go bankrupt every year, their families are devastated because just because somebody got sick through no fault of their own. We are the only country in the world where you've got a bloated insurance industry sucking the blood, the, 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 the monetary blood out of our, out of our bloodstream, uh, you know, like a giant tick on our backs. We're, we're the only industry in the world, we're, we're the only country in the world where pharmaceutical prices are as much as 10 times here what they are in, for example, Canada. And why is that? Because the Supreme Court legalized bribery. And we've got a, a, just an absolutely mind-boggling amount of money floating around here. This, this new study, first of all, Open Secrets just, just said that the amount that the healthcare industry spent bribing Congress last year, just in 2021, was 600, and this is just the health industry, just the big pharma, big hospital, big health, big, big health insurance, 689,466,798 dollars. That's breathtaking. And how much money did they extract from us that, that was basically theft from the American people? Well, in the year 2020, it was $543 billion. And and, and this is, you know, what is just so breathtaking. This is a study that was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is a peer-reviewed journal. You know, the, you don't get more prestigious than having your work. If you're a, a, a group of scientists who have done, a, you know, a good study, and that's what we have here, you, you don't get, it doesn't get better than being published uh, in PNAS, the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This, I'm quoting from the abstract to the study, quote, we estimated that a single payer universal health care system would have saved about 212,000 lives in 2020 alone. We also calculated that US $105.6 billion of medical expenses associated with COVID-19 hospitalization could have been averted by a single payer universal health care system over the course of the pandemic. These economic benefits are in addition to $438 billion expected to be saved by single-payer universal health care during a non-pandemic year. Now, Lindsey Graham, in his debate with Bernie Sanders, was, was going, well, you know, that's socialism. Medicare, Medicare for all that. So we don't want socialism in America. We got better, better things to do. Right. That's nonsense. And Lindsey Graham knows it's nonsense. It, it, what, what's going on here is that he's been bribed as has every single Republican in the U.S. House and the United States Senate. They're, they're all on the take from the healthcare industry and from right-wing billionaires who believe that governments offering healthcare is socialism because they don't want their taxes to go up to pay for it. It's very simple. Greedy billionaires and giant corporations are pouring money down the throat of these politicians to the tune of about seven last year, just in healthcare alone, $700 million. And all because five corrupt Republicans on the U.S. Supreme Court said repeatedly that money is the same thing as speech and therefore it is protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution and the corporations are the same thing as people and they're therefore they're protected by the Bill of Rights, which is so wrong. I mean, Jimmy Carter tried to do a single-payer national health care system in April of 1976 when he was a candidate for president. He rolled this thing out. It never happened. He couldn't overcome the opposition, obviously, in the Republican Party and a lot of opposition in the Democratic Party from Democrats at that time who had been bought off. The same thing happened with Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton tried to do this in 1993. Hillary Clinton was in charge of the task force to put it together. It died on the vine. 
again, because of united opposition, because, you know, hey, if you're going to spend almost a billion dollars a year lobbying to protect your hundred billion dollars a year plus in profits, this is how it plays out. Barack Obama campaigned on single payer health care. And, you know, what did we get? We got Obamacare. Obamacare at least was going to have a public option. Anybody could buy into Medicare until the, until the, uh, the, the you know, big health insurance industry handed $1,182,070 to Joe Lieberman. And Joe Lieberman, say, you know, betrayed the Democrats. He was, he was the Joe Manchin of that era. And thus we got, you know, a, a, an Affordable Care Act that basically is a giant trillion dollar subsidy for the health insurance industry and big pharma. Our health care system has let over 200,000 Americans die just in 2020. Just in 2020. And just to preserve its profits. And it handed a, a, a little tiny share of those profits over to the politicians to keep things this way. This is a broken system. We have to overturn Citizens United. We have to reclaim our sovereignty as a nation. This is... Uh, you know, as, as just absolutely as bad as it gets. I, I, I don't know how to say it beyond that. And uh, if Americans don't know what's going on, yeah, thank you. We're in the break. Uh, we got to do something about this. I think, you know, number one, we need to wake people up. The, the word bribe is not used anywhere near enough in American politics because nobody wants to point it out, right? Let's start being truth tellers. Let's start talking about the bribery of politicians.